So I move on and I click on to part two. Now the recording that I have of writing my solution to part two is actually kind of boring. So I'm just gonna rewrite my solution and talk through it as I go. I think that'll be a little bit more exciting. Um, so input.txt, let read the file. Now we need to split up the, the file into lines. So uh, split and I'll do it on the new line character. Whenever I use um, string.split, I usually use trim. Yeah, trim true. So this just makes it so that I don't have, you know, something like this where there's white space on the edges. Um, all right, so we've got our data coming in line by line. Uh, let's reduce over this. What do I want to reduce into? Well, I'm gonna make a tuple that has two lists in it. So the first list will correspond to the first column. The second one will correspond to the second column. So anonymous function here where each, each iteration will be a line. And then here's my accumulator, which is the tuple. We'll call it accumulator A, accumulator B. Okay, so what do we do in here? Uh, we still need to split stuff up. So string.split split up the line on white space this time because there should be two numbers with white space in between it. Trim, true. All right, and I, I, I'm gonna pull out these two numbers into uh, A and B. And I guess they're not numbers yet. They are still strings at this point. So um, let's do equals string dot two integer. Same thing for B. And now we need to build up uh, the lists. So first list, we'll prepend A to accumulator A. And then second list, we'll do the same thing for B. So one thing to note, if you're not familiar with Elixir, uh, you don't really have arrays. There are arrays in it. Erlang, you, like there's a, there is an array structure you can use if you want, but the go-to innumerable, innumerable thing in Elixir are lists, and they're more similar to linked lists. So the efficient way to append to them is to, well, uh, prepend to them actually. So I'm putting A and B, I'm putting the numbers at the beginning of the list. Otherwise I'd have to iterate through every single item and put it on the back, and that's just, you know, that's not efficient. One implication that has is that my lists are gonna be backwards, but that doesn't matter for this. Next thing I want to do here is every time, so now I like hopefully, well, let's print this out. Oops. Uh, let's see, Elixir. All right, so it's a little bit hard to read because I'm using the real input file, but you can see there's a tuple. Uh, first element in the tuple is a list. That's my first column. And then second is the second column. So that looks like what I expect. So let's go ahead and match on that. Um, use then A, B, oh, let's call it a column A, column B. Oops, I forgot. Okay, so what do we need to do? Uh, my goal is to figure out how many times the numbers in column A. So let's go ahead and pre-compute um, the frequencies of the numbers in column B. And there's there's a function actually for that, enum.frequencies. So column B, and this will give me like a key value structure or a map. So I'm gonna call it counts. And I'll just run this again so that you can see what that looks like. Cool, so we've got all the numbers. It's getting chopped off, I think, but you can see the numbers and then how many times they appear. So next, I'm going to reduce or iterate over column A. So uh, column A, enum.reduce. Um, this time, I'm gonna be reducing to get the sum or like the, the total answer. So we're starting at zero. Uh, let's just call this, so every item is, we'll, we'll just call it N, I guess. And total is what I'm using for my accumulator variable binding. So I can use uh, map.get with counts that has our frequencies in them. I, I want to get um, the value 
at the key that corresponds to n. So, and then I need to do n times uh, whatever that number is. And then we also need to sum all this up as we go. So total plus, I don't know if we need the parentheses. Uh, nope, we don't. And then one more thing here is that what if there's a count that doesn't exist? By default, map.get is gonna be just nil. So let's make it zero instead. So that's a default value. Save this and run it again. All right, I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Yep, that's it.